I must know more. Hey, I'm Tom Bancroft. I'm the CEO of Pencilish Animation Studios. This is another behind the scenes uh, of how we're making uh, one of our shows. And in this case, it's Bjorn the Last Unicorn. So um, I'm looking at animated shots as they come in from our animators and giving notes. This character is, uh, and I'll get to this in a second. This is Bjorn. We have a turn sheet for him. But when you get into animation, uh, you're gonna discover that a turn sheet is just the beginning of things for a lot of animators. It gives you a couple angles, but there's so many angles of the head in between these two. Uh, there can be very difficult angles within there. And then if you have your character looking up or down when it's acting, which happens all the time, it becomes very difficult to start to get to know your character. So I'm having, I'm looking at this for reference, of course. What I'm doing is uh, one of our animators have done, has done a first pass on a scene actually for episode one. I'm gonna show that to you in just a second. And then um, I wanna show you uh, me going over a few uh, giving notes to that animator. And that's what today's lesson is all about. Um, so this is the shot. And so this is by uh, John Dents. In this shot, uh, which I'll play in just a second, um, Bjorn is uh, discovering the world of social media for the first time, and he's looking at, an, uh, at a phone that he just got the night before, and basically it lost its charge. He didn't understand that the power could run out, and he kind of had it playing all night long, and so now he, here he is waking up. And so then he, so he just finished tapping on it, trying to get it to work, and now he says this line. Here we go. I must know more. I must know more. So what's what's important about this scene and this shot in the episode is this is where he's starting to decide um, that this world of social media it, that he believes to be mistakenly in a lot of cases pure and and wonderful and and things like that. He doesn't see any of the negative side of the internet, uh, which is kind of one of the running jokes throughout the series and so he's saying i must know more he's trying and he's about to make a decision to become a social media star um and that's i must know more if you can hear that pretty well that's caleb hiles um he's a, a youtube uh star and he's do, does doing the voice of um of uh bjorn and we're thrilled to have him so anyway, and you can see this is, uh, there's a lot of in-betweens missing here. This is a pose test. So he's probably only got, um, you can almost count how many. There's about, I'd say about 15 drawings in there. What he's doing here, I like a lot. The acting and the performance is hitting all the beats. The timing and everything is working very well. Now all I wanna do is just give him a few notes of, uh, on the model. And now these are those. So this is the very first drawing of the scene. This is one in the middle. This is this is toward the end. You can see it's uh, it's number 34. Then this last one is uh, the very last of it. And so I've already done a draw over, and this is the places that I'm going to hit for John. So um, I'm making a bigger uh, bigger statement and more swirls with the uh, with the main. I'm changing the angle here of the uh, of the horn. I just want it to be a little taller and a little bit more of a different angle. And the biggest notes are on the muzzle. So I feel like that nostril uh, that was here needs to be moved over. And so I moved it over to here. And uh, and I feel like, because it was just getting too wide, even though we're at a little bit of a, a three quarter, now I feel like I, I need to move it over just a tad. So it'll probably be more like right about here. And I'm doing this in Photoshop. And I also want his lip not to be so high. So um, he's not saying a P or an M. Uh, so I want that lip to be a little bit lower too. Um, and then, then the neck too. The neck was getting a little too wide. So I've brought that in a little bit. Um, now let's start doing that to the other drawings. Let's see. So here's, here's key number two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest to him to bring down this eyebrow just a, a little bit more. Kind of, so it kind of comes down and then goes up. Um, 
I don't want these hoops here to be even like they are right now. So I'm gonna make this one the bigger one of the two. And then this one is a lot smaller. And we kind of push out this piece here. So it'll be a little bit more of that shape. Now to the muzzle, we want, uh, I like, when he opens his mouth here, I don't want this gap right here to the mouth to be so, um, uh, this is where he wants to stretch. So that, that gap is gonna grow as he opens his mouth. So I want that mouth to be down here more. And that's gonna give a little bit more of a stretch. So this bottom of the jaw, is going to react to that. It's going to go, it's going to stretch a little bit more and go down to here. A little bit off screen, actually. And we're going to move that. There we go. Maybe even where this ear connects could be a little bit different. Um, all right, so now let's go to the next one. So that was two. This is must. And really what I'm trying to show here, and I need to mention that here for John, is, you know, that, that I'm stretching. I'll stretch a little bit more. Uh, the rest is all pretty much the same as the note number one. So now let's go on to the third key. All right, so here we have a squash because you see the difference between the mouth. Not only is this is where he's standing up, um, but it's a squash. It's a closed mouth. So we want, we do want this distance now to kind of close. And he does have some squash here. He's kind of compressing on both sides or pushing out on both sides, which is, is what a squash is. And we might even kind of throw up a little bit of bottom lid here. Um, and I think this is where we can still, again, kind of stay a little bit more crunched on the eyes so that the, the eyes are actually touching uh, the eyebrows. And I think that really helps that. Okay, so again, I like where he's got his mouth here because now it's crunched. It's not too high anymore, but I really feel like it needs to just jut out a little bit more here. The teeth is extra rounded but a little bit wider we can kind of add a little compression there so this now needs to kind of get thrown out just a little bit wider and now is his he's still really wide right here so we're going to bring that in a little bit just a little bit right here and a little rounder on the top and john is great uh he's somebody that really will pick up on these notes and and run with them uh so i don't have to go i can keep them pretty sketchy i'm going to move this horn over because it needs to sort of follow in the line of his forehead so i'm going to move that a little bit more over here so we end up with that again i'm going to make a little bit more of a, a hump here all right, on to the next. Okay, so this is our final pose. So now he's fully standing up. And um, I like that he's looking uh, kind of straight up. I'm still gonna bring those eyebrows down a little bit. I want him to be straight across, because by the way, that's what reads as determined when you're talking about expressions. We don't want him mad, we don't want him determined. And there is a difference between how your eyebrows look. The eyebrows are a little bit more straight across when you're uh, determined, uh, especially in a cartoon like this, uh, it's a it's a good uh, uh, you know uh, way to show that emotion. Um, and his are straight across, but just want to give and even adding this little kind of furrow brow there, um, I think helps. So again, I'm going to move where this uh, is fitting here. The the but now it's really sticking up, but it's at a 45 degree angle, so it'd be a little bit more right there. This side, no, I must know more, more. And he went into, now the other thing is I don't want him to do this, this happy, uh, so I'm gonna say that too, is like no happy grin here. Hopefully he'll know what that means, no happy, I'll put cheek. Because that's kind of what that represents, right? We see it here on the Bjorn expression sheet. He's got these little sort of happy cheek uh, shapes here. But that's when he's smiling and stuff. This is him not smiling. He's 
he's being determined. So I think that this part going up like that is probably um, not going to work. So I'm, um, and this is getting too thin here. So I'm going to put that too thin between uh, top muzzle and mouth. Uh, moving that nostril forward a little bit. This one is a little bit too like at an angle. I'm just gonna put it more like here. I am gonna move this muzzle up, I think, because he's kind of got his head up at a, at a little bit of an angle now. And I think that's gonna play into that nicely. Um, I'm gonna keep his pupils here. Again, I'm gonna make the, the highlights just a little smaller. But again, we're just trying to get a little bit more out of the animation in the drawings because the timing is there. All the animation is really there already. It's just making a few drawings, not only more on model, but maybe a little bit more pushed. So this would be a little bit more his normal size jowl. And that's the big difference. Um, so that jowls uh, longer. Okay, so you can see the difference, mostly in that jowl, right? The jowl's gotten much bigger, um, but it, it fits the, you know, it's closer to um, our proportions here. But as you can see, this, this is not on that model sheet. This expression, even this angle, like we're a little bit more of an upshot. We're, we're, we're a little bit more straight on. We're just slightly three quarter on this uh, angle. So the nostrils and stuff have to be changed. There's a lot of invention that happens on every single frame of, uh, of a uh, animated uh, TV series because you do have to sort of reinvent the wheel almost uh, every, um, on almost every frame. You really have to sort of reinvent the wheel or almost every pose at least um, because uh, you know it's changing. Uh, it's changing uh, to really make that character come to life. You have to change it. So, uh, I think I like where this went. So there was number one. Uh, let's see, there's number two. Uh, let's see, three and four. So, well guys, um, I hope you got something out of that. And remember, this is the shot. When you see it later, it's not gonna look like this, it's, uh, but the animation will be the same. I must know more, I must know more. So now you can imagine, that's what it will end up looking like. We're doing this on every single shot of Bjorn, the last unicorn. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you.